Down at the bottom of a very pretty valley, there's a magical place called Summerton Mill. And when the water wheel turns at Summerton Mill, a little bit of magic takes place. And, for a little while, everything goes back to how it used to be. Oh, it's a lovely morning, said Dan, as he looked out into Summerton Valley. Ooh, it sounds like there's something going on. And Dan headed off in the direction of the noise, past Mousy Tongue, the cat, who was lying in the sun. Morning, Mrs. Neighbour, said Dan. Morning, Dan. It's all rather exciting. I've been making us a bottle organ, said Mrs. Neighbour. Oh, yes, yes, yes. What's a bottle organ, then? Well, I'm nearly ready, and then I'll show you. And Dan watched while Mrs. Neighbour poured some water into one of the bottles. There, that should do it. One bottle organ, said Mrs. Neighbour, and she played a little tune. Ha ha ha! That was brilliant, Mrs. Neighbour. Oh, well done. Ah, you've made a bottle organ, said Dr. Neighbour. Yes, come on, have a go, said Mrs. Neighbour, as she passed Dr. Neighbour the spoon. We could do with some help from a real musician. Dr. Neighbour thought for a moment. Ah, how about this? <laughs> oh, well done, said Mrs. Neighbour. Yes, well done, Dr. Neighbour. <laughs> Have you had a go, Dan? said Dr. Neighbour. Oh, well, not yet, but I'll, I'll, I'll do my best. Oh, I, I can't. I'm, I'm all embarrassed. Go on. You'll soon pick it up. Yes, go on. Just pretend we're not here. Dan started to tap the bottles. That was rather good. Yes, it was. I didn't know you could play like that, Dan. Nor did I, Dr. Neighbour. <laughs> it's a funny old world, isn't it? It certainly is, said Mrs. Neighbour. And they all played the bottle organ until it was time to go home. And when Dan and Fluffer got back to Somerton Mill, Mousy Tongue was still lying asleep in the sun. And as the water level drops back down, the big old water wheel slows and eventually stops. And Somerton Mill, still beautiful in its tumble-down state, goes back to being a home just to the wild animals, the birds and the plants.